Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 5 of this Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiserreich mod, and I'm joined here by Igel, Bussy, and Valnoma. Hello. 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 You've introduced yourselves, like, in every single episode. I think people know who we're playing as now. <laughs> yeah. They should be. Yeah. <laughs> And if you haven't clued in yet, I'm playing as Japan. Oh wow, Russia's troops really have re-equipped rather quickly. That's kind of annoying. Would you rather have those 59 divisions back? Well, I was rolling across Siberia at a pretty good pace until that. But no, not really. <laughs> I know what slowed me down and it's um, logistics. I need to wait until the infrastructure catches up with the advance. Yeah, come on with that world tension, Mordred. I need easy, 75%. easy. It's less than a year and I'm already halfway across Siberia. <laughs> I think my rate of progress here has been pretty damn good. Definitely. But the thing is, like, the longer I leave Kosovo in Albanian hands, the more, like, I'm gonna get Serbians yelling at me, so... And this worries me because... Because they'll come on to your channel too! <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, Bussy, I think I'm gonna be rivaling you for the lowest political power. Wait, what? I got minus 460 political power now. Minus uh, 1696. Yeah, I'm catching up. Yeah, that's going nowhere for me, so. Well, I'm at plus 44 now. I make a quarter point a day. <laughs> what are we low on? Oh, weapons. No. We're fighting at 77% strength because we're 11 artillery short. What? Yep, we need the big guns. Clearly. I would dearly love to go to war with the US again. Oh? Well... The entire western part is completely unguarded. I have a straight shot to Seattle. That would be pretty nice. For you. Yeah. I'd probably be able to take everything up to Montana and Wyoming. What do you say to that, Mordred? Good luck. No, like the offer I just sent you. Hey. <laughs> Maybe. Sorry, I was looking at my mini technology slots. I'm now up to five. I'm trying to work out what to research because I got most things already. <laughs> yep. First world problems. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's still going. We're up to scratch with this. I guess we should probably research that. Uh, we're up to scratch with that, though we could get that, but I don't really see the point because I'm not going to use them. Don't need just those. Go for, like, just go for naval doctrine or something. I already am. Oh. Air doctrine, then. Hmm. I hope Hungary abuses Croatia properly <laughs> for their uh, for their manpower. It's not gonna happen. No. Oh, rip Bulgaria. I thought they were doing well. They were doing well, but Romania kind of came in and smashed them. Oh. 
That's fine. It just makes it easier for you later, doesn't it, when you want to take on that region? Yeah. I suppose. The Balkan Pact is still, uh, or the Belgrade Pact is still intact, though, and that's not ideal. So Hungary is actually recruiting troops. That is good. It's going to be really quiet in America for a while. Oh. Well, civil war is still raging, somehow, somewhere. I don't have any guns, <laughs> so I'm recruiting and training very slowly. But this rebellion has crushed my political power. Okay, gotcha. Mordred, look at where my volunteers. Yeah, I, I saw that. I was like, "What?" They spawned in the wasteland, <laughs> and I, I'm just moving out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's 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 something they need to look at. <laughs> I'm glad you uh, you had a similar reaction there. Yes, I definitely oh. did. Oh, because like. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but that's about, like, where I uh, right-clicked your nation to, um, like, send you volunteers, so... Uh, I don't know. Probably I not. I doubt it. I don't know for sure, but I doubt it. And in any event, you shouldn't be able to send them into a wasteland. Oh, that'd be awesome if I could just trek through and then pop out at the other side of the wasteland. You'd be like, hi guys, what's up? Yeah, hey, I'm right north of Moscow now. <laughs> I'm just sorry, I'm political power. How much are you up to? Minus 1,659. Bloody hell. But you have the mighty Wrangle in power, so you are definitely doing something right. Peter Wrangle is a boss. People on my channel will approve with you selecting him. <laughs> Why is he so good? He proclaims himself the new Tsar. He's actually a general on the battlefield. He's actually a pretty decent one. Um... He's, he's just an all-round boss, generally. And in my Russia game, he was just outperforming Zukov in every single way, even though Zukov was technically my top general. Zukov just kept on fucking up big time. Well, it looks like the uh, the Federation of Equals is going to be a thing. I, I'm being forced to federalize, not even communist for me. I can't even go communist. Because I didn't choose social democrats, so I can't go communist now. Shame on you. It's kind of hard to get from socially conservative to communist. Well, yeah. I Fine. chose, like, social conservatives over social democrats. And apparently you need social democrats in order to go communist. It's apparently not that hard. <laughs> So, Azure, when are you taking the rest of America? I can't. I have no claim. Yep, no more claims for you. So I'd have to justify a war goal, and I'm 486 political power short of justifying a war goal. And 5% world tension. Hence, all quiet on the Western Front. Fair enough. 500 year wait. 500 day wait, I should say.
I'm not even doing these in any particular order. I'm just working from one side to the other. Give me that. Bussy's troops have definitely entrenched a bit here. Yep. Their uh, land forts there, just like level one, level two. But yeah. That would be why. Oh, son of a freaking bitch. <laughs> just got to 100 political power and then minus 100 political power. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no manpower for you. Political power. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually gaining political power now. I'm gaining. I'm getting 1.25 a day, but it took me a while to tick up to that. <laughs> yeah, but I guess you were going for the power, Mordred, so you could go up in the manpower laws or something. Something like that. Let me have a look at your nation. Limited conscription. Civilian economy. Yeah, you were looking to do something useful. Yeah. <laughs> Has Russia militarized yet? Nope. Why do wait, I even wait, look? <laughs> wait, what, wait, what political power? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, I was like, hang on, why am I even checking this? <laughs> oh. I suspect I'm probably the most militarized of everyone. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm plus two in the um, mobilization laws and plus one in the manpower laws. I haven't done a thing in any of them. Okay, come on, world tension. Gotta take out Albania. There we go. Right, that should help. Yep, we're gonna get, uh, get that one. So I've got five focuses I need to get, and each one gives me an event. And it looks like the option is so political power, gain political power, or do nothing. Hmm. Are you stuck, Mordred? No. Entrenched in a mountain, trying to cross a river. I'm trying to decide what to do. The wasteland in Russia has actually made Russia stronger. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It certainly, yeah, actually it probably has, because it means the uh, fronts are a lot smaller, so you don't have just a massive line of one-man units. Exactly. I mean, Bussy only has to defend six provinces. That's yeah. easy. Especially across an enormous river. True. My fault for drawing my line up to the river. Well, we've, uh broken over the river in that one. Shush. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I'm pretty sure Bussy has his eyes absolutely glued to the front line, so... Maybe. Yeah, nothing, nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a waiting game. How long can you hold them back for? Um... I hope until I have positive political power. <laughs> so, 1990s? <laughs> 2010 should be fine. Nineteen thirty-eight. These uh, heavily entrenched Austrian troops are uh, doing their job. Good. Who 
who's winning the battles. Roughly even, I would say. Probably Bussy overall. But we're taking our toll. They've lost more than we have, which is a good thing when you're fighting Russia. <laughs> Yeah, if Russia's losing less than you, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, tension's actually going down. No. No. Someone kill Russia already so we can get it higher. Not ah, much love for you there, Bussy. Alright. Yeah. 80% percent world uh, tension would, would be nice. Would make a difference. Eighty percent. Eighty. Why? Oh, it gets to eighty. You will see. <laughs> if you last that long. <laughs> Middle Europa is very strong right now. Yo, fellow Noma. Yeah. Go, go, pick a fight. What do you mean? Attack somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I need higher political power, or not, uh, world tension. I can't fabricate a claim yet. 66%. Okay. France, attack. Come on, you can do it. It's still pretty early, even for France. So, how is Germany doing with the reforms? Uh, they've recovered from Black Monday. Yeah, they have the workers' strike right now, but other than that... Yeah, they, they still have Victor's Wealth the Creek, they that... got the others. They don't yeah, have they, a working militarism, uh, though. They're going down the tree that uh, declares war on France right now. I find that acceptable. But then, so are France. They're one, one away from demanding Alsace-Lorraine. Oh. Oh, yeah. Their next focus is to demand Alsace. We'll see if they do that. Oh, wow. The CSA are already scraping the barrel. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> the AUS is on volunteer. USA is scraping the barrel too. Yeah. Wait, the CSA is volunteer only. Yeah, it's only the United States that's scraping the barrel. The oh, other two sorry. are both volunteer. Oh, yeah. I, I clicked on occupied territory. And. Spanish Civil War could still go in any direction. Kind of looks like Spain's winning. Which one? <laughs> Kingdom of Spain. Yeah. The boring one. The good guys. And we have uh, blue Portugal here. Portugal shouldn't be blue. They shouldn't be. They should always be green. It's just, it's one of those things, you know? Yeah, Portugal is green. <laughs> It's, it's the same sort of philosophy where the Soviet Union has to be red. <laughs> and France has to be blue. And Austria has to be white. Yep. Things that just make sense. Yep.
Oh, Transoma has changed to the Russian Far Eastern Republic. That's probably not a good thing. That was last episode. Was it? Yeah, easily. Shows how much I've been making, or keeping an eye on that. And they're getting loads of focuses done. Oh, but they have gone down the Japanese lapdog, Japanization, Japanese workers, Japanese propaganda. Good. In your co-prosperity sphere, yeah. And I'm glad Hungary's gone down all their uh, industry stuff. Oh, and Croatia gets to go down their industry stuff as well. <laughs> that is a huge benefit to just, like, freeing nations all the time. Just had three events pop up. So the first one is Gringo Riots lose 40 political power. The next one is Actions of the Anglo Resistance lose 60 political power or 80 political power, depending upon how much damage you want to do to your infrastructure. And then the next one is status of religion. Lose 200 political power or lose 250 political power or do nothing. 250 oh, okay. political power for base unity plus five. Is that worth it? Hang on. Disaster time. I just realized why my supply issues were. They're not the land in Siberia, it's the lack of ports. Sorry, you were asking? What was the question? Um, I was wondering if 5% uh, national unity is worth minus 250 political power. Probably not. Uh, national unity is only really useful if you are under attack, like Russia right now. Yeah. I mean, they were talking about making um, more stuff about national unity, so it like, increases your industrial output or something like that, because your people are more interested in the idea of your state, but more than that, hasn't happened. Yeah, I think the political power costs for some of these events are far too high. I would agree. The idea that you can you can go down as low as minus sixteen hundred is crazy. <laughs> that is true. And on that note, we shall have to say thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying the series, and please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do cons uh, consider subscribing, and check out Volnomus Perspective as well. If you want to support the channel in other ways, check out Patreon. It's a great way to support what this channel does. If you have any tips or advice for any of us, let us know in the comments. That's a goodbye from Igel Bussy and Valnoma. Goodbye. Goodbye. And from me, we'll catch you next time. Goodbye.